This is my well, my World War II well I found in my garden. There's my garden, that's my house. We're digging a tunnel all the way from here to the house. Not exactly like that, because now we're gonna make an extension on the house, and then we're gonna dig a cellar in the extension. Well, let's go down the tunnel, and I'll show you what's going up here. For people who don't know, here's a lot of soil I was digging last night. So here's the escape hatch with the lift and now I'm going to show you what we're doing this week upstairs. So there's the escape hatch, the tunnel's currently up to about here and here's the house. I'm building the extension as you see in part 8 I think it was, around there and that needs digging out. So we need a dumper. Dave from the future here, right I just realised none of you know what sports dumper is all about. Sports dumper is just an old Benford dumper I bought, cheap. Blew up first day I was using it when I filled in the old bunker. So I had to get it working overnight, put an old 200 TDI Land Rover Discovery engine in, in one night, bodged it in and did the rest of the job. All's good. So we went from like 20 horsepower to 110. The turbo blew, so I went out to natural aspirated, blah, blah, blah. Part, parted up, did a lot, years and years of fabrication because I've been doing groundworks. It seized up, so we're back to where we are now. So we've got Ian helping today, and here is the scrapyard. The dumper is over there. If I just take the inner manifold off, we'll try and pour some diesel or something down the bores just to try and free it all off. I'm gonna try and Pull it round with these grips, see how seized it really is. That's absolutely seized solid. This little bolt down here. What do you think? That's not looking pretty, is it? Let's get it soaked. Have a look down here. Nice. There's your brakes. I think they might still work, believe it or not. But the throttle is seized solid, so this must be seized here. Still see solid. Okay, what we'll do now, we'll take the starter motor off and we'll try and bar the bar the starter ring round. See if we can wobble this round. so tight. We'll put you back into it. I think we're gonna have to say this this is actually quite seized. So what do we do? Do we take the head off? I'd reckon in. No other option. Let's have a look inside, because this, this must be a right mess inside. Right, let's take the head off. So, whilst Dave's just gone to get some tools, I thought I'd just show you quickly around the scrapyard. I've never been to this part of his yard before. So as you can see, there's a sports dumper. But back here, randomly, there's this. And then, this contraption, I mean, I think it's one of those gravity things where you strap yourself in and spin round. We'll have to get Dave in there, get a video done. Oh. 
Not too bad in there, is it? So Ian, which board do you reckon is the one that seized up? Ian, me, and mine, and more. Well, this one's down, isn't it? Right. So is that what's that there? Is that the exhaust one? Is that a dirty one? That's a dirty one. So we're betting that's that cylinder there because this one here, they're not bad. This one's down here, but is that is that an inlet? Or exhaust? Inlet, exhaust. Yeah. So it should just be this piston here then, shouldn't it? Right, that's, but that's a bet's placed. Let's see what happens. Is there any point not to a saving this engine? I mean, I'm sure you've got another engine knocking about somewhere. I just think it might be quicker to try and get this running. And I'm, I really want to see how bad it is inside, really. So, yeah. But really, is it worth saving the dumper? The dumper's a pile of junk, isn't it? But I think it'd just be funny to use it. So that takes the pressure off the valves. There you are, that's, that's off. Always keep your engine components in a clean place. I can't see it, you can see it in. So I said that one we got water in. I didn't think this one would have water. So we'll clean this up a bit in here. No, a bit of WD-40 can't solve. Let's give it a bit of a tap and see whether she will free a bit. Has it moved? No. I don't think you get away with doing this with a modern engine. The modern Land Rover engines blow up without doing this sort of thing, don't they? That moved, moved a bit, it, didn't it? Yeah. Moved a bit, yeah. So if we try and flick it the other way. There we go. Move in more. So we're up to 25,000 subscribers now. I have got some plan for this to celebrate this, but you've caught me off guard and that's tunnel based. So next video on the tunnel, we're gonna have a celebration, but thank you for everyone for subscribing. Don't forget to tune into the next episode to see what I've got planned. It's somewhat stupid, by the way. But this thing is nearly free now. I can just get that back piston back down again. I think we've got some water in here as well, looking at the state of the flywheel. That must be full of water in the bell housing, so we have to address that. So that's it, we're on the downward stroke now. I know there's going to be some engine builders out there mega impressed with my build here, aren't you? Right. Working. Right, get this on here. This isn't this contact contact's not very ideal on here is it i think if this starter don't work it's not the starter is it it's all this lot here isn't it we've got a hammer to hit it with there's better water coming out of there oh it's coming out of here isn't it oil pressure you see that we'll do it again straight on the seat she's free we've rigged up the fuel a bit different you look over here we've got the tub of fuel here directly piped into the pump because this fuel tank here there's got stones in the filler which isn't ideal 
this has been open, the breather, for the last 10 years. So, and the fuel does come out if you push it down, but I'm not sure whether that's fuel, water or what. So, and it doesn't seem to want to pick it back up. So I'm hoping, because that's a bit higher, once we get it going, it's gonna start. So we're gonna turn it over now. I'll just cut that till that last bit. <laughs> oh, we we to torch it up now with a Makita, haven't we? So we need to do a 60 degree pull on each of these bolts now, don't we? That's, yeah, that's, that's not about 60. Always start in the middle. Work out. Don't forget to put your little valve caps on right we're not going to set these yet but we just got to make sure they are loose Well, that's nearly run, isn't it? We're not going to leave the video here, are we? I think I'll get my booster pack. And that was getting quite hot on my hands. So we won't put the exhaust on for now, but I will put this on just to try and separate the dirty air and the clean air. Right, booster pack's on. Let's touch this cable, see what happens. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. We are backfiring a little bit, but I think I think I just need to. I think the valve seats are leaking a little bit, but let's try again. Booster pack just needs to cool down. Let's wait a minute. We have to wait here. Do we have a brew? Let's go for it. All right. I want the booster pack, look. That's come out of there. Since that's all glowing, look. Should be a good contact now it's got that hot, shouldn't it? Let's do it up. This had melted all the solder out, so we're losing contact. So I've got that off a Range Rover. Hopefully now this might work. Put your cross your fingers in. Oh, hang on a sec. C solid. Right, let's start her up.
Right, before Ian shows us how he's going to go through the escape hatch, because everyone keeps telling me it's too tight for anyone that's bigger than me, and you're a little bit bigger, aren't you? Only a little bit. So let's just go through what he's doing. We need to put the turbo on, because it had a no turbo before. We need to put that on, clean this fuel tank out, pipe that back up, put the water in, make a bonnet, exhaust flap so this thing doesn't happen again. These pivots here are worn out, so if anyone know where to get them bushes from, that'd be great. Clutch is seized. That cylinder, so I'm gonna swap that. Battery needs remounting, it's not ideal there. Maybe I put a bit of floor in there, and we're ready to go. Here he is, love. Now, obviously, it'd be easier if I made the ladder, but we haven't got that stage. Yeah, pull, pull the leg up. Up. There, there you go. See, as soon as I'm up right. there. Right, bunkers on fire, you need to get out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. We need more beer. We're out. Make sure you subscribe to this page and you could be doing this. Right, one last thing. We can't not just try and move this now, can we? So let's try and start it in gear, but I can't remember the reverses. So, I'll just try this. Is that going backwards, yeah? I think you found reverse. Didn't even crash.